Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mid-Journey version 5 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to activate Niji 5. It's a new mode in Mid-Journey 5, and boy, oh boy, is it good. Holy smokes. Some of the images that you're going to see here on the screen while I talk, they're all created using Niji 5. It's unbelievable. So what are we going to, what are we going to go over in this um, quick tutorial? Simple. I'm going to show you how to activate it. I'm going to give you an example prompt so that you can just copy and paste it from my description and start creating content that looks just like the stuff on my screen. I'm going to show you how to take an image from any movie or show that you like, put it into Mid Journey, and then reverse engineer or get the prompt that can, that can make images similar to that. So basically reverse engineering it. And then I'm also gonna show you how to create basically content based around some of your favorite movies. In this one, we go through Ghost in the Shell, The Tale of Princess Kaguya. I, I, forgive my pronunciation. So there's a lot of things here to go through. So the first step to activate anything. So if I wanted to do uh, to put anything in Niji 5, there's two ways to do it. The first one is Bulldog. I'll just type in, I just forward slash imagine like this. And then you type in what you want. So I'm going to go Prince. Um, I'm just going to type that in and then it's dash dash Niji space five. And when you do that, it's going to run it in Niji 5 here. You can see that at the bottom. So that's the first step. The second way to do it is you can go forward slash settings, hit enter, and presto, you'll see here that I've currently got Mid Journey version 5 selected. But if I want to go to Niji version 5, I just have to click that button and that's it. It's done. So those are the two ways to do it. And if you do this this way, you don't have to add in the dash dash Niji 5. That's uh, redundant. So there you go. Those are the two ways. Okay. The next step, let's go back to my list here, is I want to give you an example prompt. I'm going to copy and paste it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go down to my prompt here. And I'm going to go forward slash imagine and then copy paste. And what it says is subject. So what is this image going to be or this art going to be about? So this is going to be um, a warrior prince portrait. Okay, we'll go with that for now. It's going to be saturated plain colors, American scene, matte painting, matte drawing, detailed, and I've even gone ahead and added in artists by Art Germ and Scotty Young. Now, I want to give a heads up. I want to give a shout out to Michael King on medium.com because this is his prompt that he suggested. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and we're going to let that run. And that's going to give me a very cool, oh, look at that. That was pretty quick, actually. Um, okay, no, that one's waiting to start. So here's the first one. We've got a warrior prince doing his thing. That's the one that's loading. This one here is just, I don't know, just a basic one. But you'll see here that it's done a very good job and it's in Niji 5. So there we go. So now we've got the warrior prince loading. The next step I want to show you is this prompt here. We're going to go ahead and copy this one in and I'll copy and paste it in and I'll explain to you what this means. So of course, forward slash imagine, copy and paste. And this one here is a girl in traditional Japanese clothing with white wolf beside her standing in front of a magical Tori shrine. Anime Don Bluth, who's the artist, art germ, also an artist, comma by Studio Ghibli. So Studio Ghibli, of course, as you are no doubt aware, very, very huge in this market. So we're basically asking it to create content in this style. And it's an amalgam of the two artists plus the studio. I'm going to hit enter and it is going to run. So while that runs, let's go ahead and learn something new. So I'm going to go back up here and this one here, this is just an example of a really good prompt. I'll put this in the description below and I'm going to write this in. There is no, I'll, I'll publish it. I'll pump put it in, not publish it, a detailed illustration of a beautiful anime girl with a soft, gentle appearance and a heartwarming, cute expression. Very descriptive, all in natural language. But you'll notice here that I don't have any artists or studios or anything for that matter um, listed. So I'm going to hit enter. And because we're by, by set changing our settings, we're in version five of Niji, this is automatically going to apply that style. So Let's go back and look at what we got. So when I just typed in Prince Niji 5, again, it gave me a what its idea of a prince is inside Niji 5. Pretty good, but not great. But you know what? It was very vague. This one here is a warrior prince portrait, saturated colors. The one we said earlier, let's see what we got. These are very good in my opinion. And if I want to keep them or I want to use them, I can just click U3, U4. I don't, I mean U1 if I want to keep them all. 
<laughs> just click on the U button and you can go ahead and just create them. It'll just automatically create this one here. So here's an example. And if I want to keep this one, I just right click on it and I go save image and bang, I save it to my downloads. And that's it. If I like this one, right click, save the image, bang, done. I've got that image. Also, if I like this image, but I don't, but it's not perfect, I want to make some changes. Let's say this warrior prince, I can click on make variations. And then I could say a warrior prince. But instead of that, I would say, I don't know, I like the look, but I want it to be a warrior princess. You'll see here that by clicking on that remix, uh, which is launched by clicking on make variations, I can go ahead and make those changes. So I can submit that. And now it's going to redo this, but it's going to do it with a warrior princess in mind. So I'm just teaching you all the different tricks here to creating unbelievably good anime type images and art in Mid Journey version 5, in particular Niji 5. Okay, let's keep going. Here's another example. A girl in traditional Japanese clothing with a white wolf standing beside her. Art germ, Don Bluth, anime studio Ghibli. Let's see what we got here. Awesome stuff. I really like this third one because I like it's a little bit closer to the camera and I like the fourth one. So I'm going to go ahead and click U3, which is upscale, and then U4, which is also upscale. So we're going to upscale those two images. They're going to very quickly load here at the bottom. And then I'm just going to right click, save image, and I'm going to put that in my downloads. And look at that. While I'm here, the remix for the uh, princess, warrior princess, is pretty much done. And look at that, it's done a fantastic job. The second one here is not good, clearly, but the third one is pretty good, but there's some weird action going on in there. But the fourth one, really like it. I would just click U4 and keep it. So here we go, we're, we're rolling through this step-by-step, -step, creating amazing art. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is awesome. I'm gonna put this prompt in here. A strong prince in the style of Ghost in the Shell, another popular movie. I'm gonna forward slash imagine. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in and I'm gonna hit enter. What this has done is I've said, hey, I want a prince, a big prince, strong prince, but I want it in the style of this very specific movie. So I'm basically saying, hey, Mid Journey, do it in the style of that movie. Awesome, we'll let that run. And then I'm gonna show you one last thing here. And that is this, how to reverse engineer basically any image. So if you take an image, so while that other one loads here, you can already tell it's starting along the right path. Watch this. I've got an image of superhero here from, I believe, My Hero Academia. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go forward slash describe. And this is different than all the other prompts. The other ones were all imagine. This is describe, hit enter. And then it says drag and drop or click to upload file. So I'm going to grab that file and I'm going to drag and drop it on top there. And then I'm going to hit enter. And then watch what happens. While, while this loads, this is now going to give me the prompts that it believes were used or could be used to create image and art in this style. So look at that, a picture of the character from My Hero Academia. That is exactly correct. In the style of Green Academia, Cartoonish Innocence, Shiny Eyes, Heinrich Clay, I assume that's one of the, uh, uh, I guess one of the uh, drawers or animators or whatever you want to call it. Um, extreme angle, relatable personality, abrasive authenticity. I don't know what the heck that even means, but there you go. So that's the first prompt. The second prompt is another version, a third prompt. And all you got to do now is click one, hit enter, unless you want to make changes to it. And this loads up the Imagine This prompt, so a remix kind of option, but it's called Imagine This. Click two, click three, and then we'll even click, we'll just click three. We don't need to click all four of them. And again, we've reverse engineered the prompts that could be used to create images in the style of this green My Hero Academia based off that one image. Now, while those load quickly, here is a strong prince in the style of Ghost in the Shell. Look at this. It has captured the essence of a Ghost in the Shell very, very, very well. These are great examples, although this prince maybe is a little gender amorphous, but maybe that's what you're going for. I don't know. But there you go. So that's how you can create images and art in the style of a particular movie or show. And if you like one of them, of course, you could just click on U1. Or I like this fourth one here, but I don't want the writing in it, so I would click on V4, 
which allows me to make variations and I'd click on submit. And while that loads, check this out. Here are the three prompts that we ran for My Hero Academia from the describe function. So they are slowly loading. So we'll come back to that in a second here. Here is another, here's the up, the upscale of a ghost in the shell. Looks pretty good to me, not gonna lie about it. Uh, this one here is at 93% done, so it should be done in one or two seconds. I'm going to slowly click on it, and it is not done, so tick, 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 now it's done. And bang, look at that. We've got some cool, very cool looking My Hero Academia art. Uh, let's see, where did it land? Here it is. Sorry, guys, I clicked on the wrong one. Look at this. Like, this is fantastic. Like, I mean, this is amazing. And all this came from the forward slash describe option that I showed you earlier. And you can create an entire show, like just acres of of content. Look at this one here. Here's the second version. I mean, this is just absolutely bonkers how good this is. And here's the third version. Unbelievable stuff. Again, this mid-journey Niji 5 is an amazing upgrade. This is just some of the stuff you can do in it. If you have questions, please leave a comment, ask a question, check out my description. All these prompts are gonna be in it. Thanks for watching.